guys, welcome back to Sissy Spaces. And if you're new, welcome. In today's video, we're doing some deep cleaning, organizing, decluttering, and laundry motivation. And we're starting with the fridge. We'll clean and organize it in preparation for today's grocery haul. Then we'll head upstairs to the second owner suite to clean the bedroom, deep clean the bathroom, declutter and organize the vanity, and tidy the walk-in closet. We'll end today's video by washing two loads of laundry as today is towel day. So if you enjoy this type of content, continue watching. And at the end of the video, please remember to hit that like subscribe button and share this channel with your family and friends. Also leave a comment or just say hi. I would love to hear from you and I always respond. purchase groceries weekly and by doing so I've saved tons of money because I only purchase items needed for my weekly meal plan and replacement items. I also inventory as I clean and dispose of leftovers after two weeks. And I set an annual grocery budget based off of last year's budget. For example, last year's grocery budget was $1,000 per month but by July and due to inflation that budget had ballooned to $1,200 per month. As such, this year's monthly budget is set for $1,200. Granted, November and December budgets are higher because of the Thanksgiving and Christmas meals. So those months, the budget is set for $1,500 per month. By the way, if you're new to my channel, this is a 42-inch Gen Air panel-ready built-in French door refrigerator with an obsidian interior and bottom freezer. It has six soft-closed drawers and is 84 inches in height and 24 inches deep. And as you can see, it has four interior glass and metal shelves and six door shelf bins with lighters. If you're interested in this fridge, I'll have it linked in my description box, but I don't recommend it. Within the first year, I had to replace the multi-point LED lights in the refrigerator and the freezer. It does a great job of preserving your food, but it is an investment piece. Last night I couldn't sleep because I was anxious about getting everything done today. As such, around 1 a.m. this morning, I cleaned the clutter and organized my pantry cabinets, which left only my fridge and freezer to be cleaned and organized today. As a person who suffers from anxiety, I find that if I have a big project that has to be completed the following day, I need to tackle part of it right away, or I'll continue to worry about it. After cleaning, decluttering, and organizing my pantry cabinets off camera, I fell asleep right away, knowing I could complete the rest of today's cleaning and organizing on camera right away. While cleaning my fridge, freezer, and pantry cabinets, I always check the expiration dates on items to ensure they're so good and it lets me know to use them right away before they expire. I also inform the rest of the family so they're aware that replacement items will not be purchased until the older items are used up first. I place older items up front so they're grabbed first and because of this I rarely need to dispose of anything. For example, the only thing I disposed of from the fridge, freezer, and pantry cabinets was what you saw earlier, the leftover cornbread dressing from our Christmas meal. You also saw the sweet potato souffle, but I ate that for lunch today. If you've been with my channel for a while, you know I like using these acrylic storage containers in my fridge's soft clothes drawers. But understand, all acrylic containers are not alike. For example, these containers are from the Home Edit line and can be found at Walmart. They're BPA-free, 
thicker and more durable than most acrylic containers. And as you can see, I only store my leftovers in glass containers. Most of these items are from the charcuterie board I made on New Year's Eve. If you didn't see that video entitled Winter Clean and Decorate with Me, at the end of this video, go back and check it out. Today though, all of the items from the charcuterie board have been eaten. And as you can see, I placed those items up front so the family can eat those first before any other items. containers with paper towels because this is where I store our fruits and vegetables but mostly celery and carrots. By lining the containers with paper towels it controls the humidity level of my crisper drawer by absorbing any excess moisture which helps my fruits and vegetables to stay fresh and crisp longer. Now that the fridge is cleaned and I'm aware of what items are needed, we can clean the freezer. This is the fifth of six soft clothes drawers and the sixth soft clothes drawer is our ice dispenser drawer in which we don't use. If you use your ice dispenser drawer, you'll need to change the water filter at least every six months and the filters for this fridge is not cheap. As such, I freeze water in an ice tray for ice cubes and I also store several ice packs in the freezer drawer as you'll see later. crumbs from accumulating at the bottom of the freezer. I use gallon sized freezer bags to freeze most of my freezer items. Beware if you didn't already know there are two types of Ziploc bags in the gallon size and they are freezer and storage. Be sure to check before you purchase because it's not a good idea to use storage bags in your freezer as Ziploc freezer bags are thicker thus better at keeping moisture in and odor out. Also freezer bags are less likely to puncture or tear and slower to break down after longer periods of time in the freezer and are supposed to slow down the freezing on the outside so that you don't get those ice crystals on the outside of your food. This is the sixth soft clothes drawer I was referring to earlier. The green tray is an ice cube tray that makes round ice cubes and if you're interested, I'll link it in my description box. We rarely use ice cubes, I only used the ice cube tray once and it worked okay for me. We're going to finish cleaning the kitchen by cleaning this prep sink and wiping down the counters and then I'm heading to Walmart, Sam's and Target to purchase groceries. Target had a sale last week on the game firework bees in which you can purchase $50 worth and get a $15 gift card. If you've been with my channel for a while, you know I only purchase these game firework beasts and stock up on them when they're on sale. Whenever I wipe down my kitchen counters, I would normally use the Wyman's Granite and Stone Cleaner, but on occasion like today, I'm using the same microfiber cloth I used to clean my fridge. 
By doing this, it saves money by not having to purchase cleaning products as often as most messes can be cleaned with a microfiber cloth and warm soapy water. I'm back from the stores and by taking a grocery list, I only purchased what was needed, thus saving money. I also stayed under my $300 weekly grocery budget. I spent $84 and some change at Walmart, $67.56 at Target, but I received a $15 gift card, which means I spent $52 versus $67. And the most I spent was at Sam's, which was expected because I needed to stock up on our paper towels and toilet paper supplies. If you're new to my channel, this is my oldest son's room that he rents from us until he can afford his own place. I deep clean his bedroom bathroom and tidy his closet at least once a month. In his bedroom, my plan is to tidy the bed and then remove the Christmas tree. After removing this tree, I'll have one remaining tree, which is in my youngest son's room, and my plan is to take that one down tomorrow. I also need to do some dusting in here as I haven't dusted this room in a while and I plan to mop the floors. As you can see, this is a seven and a half foot slim tree and I love using these because they fit in tight spaces, are reasonably priced, and are easy to put up and take down by a single person. Now is one of the best time to purchase an artificial Christmas tree if you want a new one for this year. Three of the four artificial trees I own are from the at-home store because I found their prices to be more reasonable and their trees with a little care last a long time. Now that the tree is down, I'm gonna use these bungee cords along with the duct tape that's already on the box to keep the tree contained. I'm also storing the tree in the guest room closet. By keeping it indoors and in the guest room, I'm protecting the tree from moisture and mice, which prolongs the life of this artificial tree. Also storing it in the guest room allows for easy access. After storing away the tree, we can begin cleaning the bedroom. I store most of my cleaning supplies in the bathrooms for convenience and easy access. Today we're using a Swifter duster, microfiber cloth, and pledge to clean the bedroom. And later we'll use a Swifter wet pad to mop it. My son 
does a great job of keeping this room clean on the surface, but he never dusts, mops, or wipes down the furniture. And that is one of the reasons why I like to come up here once per month to deep clean it. When I'm up here cleaning, I do respect his privacy and his things. This Xbox One is just as important to him as my car, so I'm careful as I clean around it. From a young age, I've taught my boys to respect other people's things by, of course, telling them, but most importantly, by showing them. I want to spend a little time now dusting the moldings and trim around his room. The last time I did this was six weeks ago and today I was shocked at just how much dirt and grime was there. And to prove I'm not exaggerating, when I'm done, I'm going to show you the Swifter Duster. And believe me, I was just as surprised as you will be. I want to place his black metal garden stand back in this corner because he sits on it as he plays his game. I'm using the iRobot vacuum to clean this area, but it seemed very confused, but it did the job anyway. Using a mixture of cleaning vinegar, water, and Dawn dish detergent to clean his sinks, shower, and toilet, I like to saturate the areas I wish to clean first, letting it sit while I do other things to give the product time to work. As a reminder, most cleaning products need time to work in order to be effective. Today is towel day, so I'm going to collect his towels as well as the one and a half bath later and load them in the washer on the towel cycle. The LG front load washer takes out the guesswork as to what cycle to use when washing sheets, towels, or anything for that matter. All you need to do is add your cleaning products, dirty laundry, push a button, and go. For those that are new to my channel, I use white distilled vinegar in my laundry and cleaning vinegar when cleaning. Be careful when purchasing these. The cleaning vinegar should be located near the cleaning supplies in your local grocery stores, while the white distilled vinegar is located next to the condiments. Sometimes they mix these up, so check before purchasing. As you can see, I'm adding borax to this plastic container, which is a used spice container I purchased from Sam's. 
I use borax as a whitener, but mostly as a deodorizer. I found that as a whitener, for it to work properly, you need to soak your whites in it for a minimum of four hours, but it's better to soak them overnight in order for it to be effective. I want to completely saturate the shower prior to cleaning the mirrors and the vanities. I also need to refill my vinegar mixture and I'll show you how much Dawn dish detergent, cleaning vinegar, and water I use when making this cleaning product as I stopped measuring it a long time ago. My son rarely uses this side of the vanity, so I only need to give it a quick clean. I'm going to spend most of my time cleaning the right side of the vanity, as well as deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing the cabinets and the drawers. I don't think that I'm being that selfish right now. You said yourself you'd be breaking every vow. I can understand you're tired of this town. And I'm not saying that we have to settle down now. Just remember this. We could have been stardust. Same world but without us. Something made each other out there made us realize we're more than just stardust ignore this fact if you must to do what your dreams are telling you to do and i'll be out there looking for someone like you So I guess I should have known You said yourself you want to do this alone What if your dreams are making it hard to think straight If you still love me, I can wait, I can wait And remember this We could have been stardust but without us Something made us Made us find each other out there Made us realize We're more than just stardust Ignore this fact if you must To do what your dreams are telling you to do And I'll be out there looking for someone like you I'm back, and nope, I didn't fall asleep. I just love this song, and if you've been with my channel for a while, you know every once in a while I put on a relaxing song, let it play as I clean. Anyway, we're going to give this jetted tub a quick dust and move on to the shower. My son has never used this tub and probably never will, and what a waste.
As I mentioned earlier, this is how I mix my vinegar mixture. Seen here, it looks as if I mix equal parts water and vinegar with a tablespoon of Dawn dish detergent. And again, I use this product in my bathrooms to clean the shower, tub, sinks, and toilet. I also use the spray away glass cleaner on my mirrors and glass shower doors. If you haven't already invested in these Rubbermaid scrub brushes, you've been working too hard. I purchased these years ago from Amazon and discovered three months ago that they make replaceable heads for cleaning the grout lines. And this has been a game changer. I also purchased the drill and brushes from Walmart around the same time and can kick myself for not switching over from a scrub brush to these years ago. I'm no spring chicken, so anything that can make cleaning easier is a must in my book. Wiping down these shower doors, I always rinse out the microfiber cloth. By doing this, it ensures I remove all the vinegar mixture and spray away glass cleaner from these glass shower doors. It also gives me a clean microfiber cloth to use for the next door. And as you can see, I wipe each door down a minimum of three times to get it clean and clear of any remaining product. use any cleaning products on the exterior doors, but I do wipe them down using the same microfiber cloth I use on the interior doors. Now that the shower and moldings are clean, we need to clean the clutter and organize the vanity cabinets and drawers. We also need to keep an ear out for the washer with our first load of towels in it. They should be finishing up soon to be placed in the dryer. And we have a second load of towels that need to be washed. These drawers are not in terrible shape, but I do want to declutter some items that he doesn't use and can be used by someone else. I also want to clean the drawers themselves because they are pretty dirty and group and organize similar items in these acrylic trays I purchased from Amazon.
The next two drawers contain his essential supplies and some are running low, so I'm going to add them to my grocery list for next week. The boys are aware that it's their responsibility to update the grocery list of items as needed, or they're going to have to wait until the next grocery haul, and in his case, is a week away. Before I could clean this drawer, I heard the LG jingle, so that means our first load of towels are done and we can place them in the dryer. I also need to grab the towel in the half bath before starting my second load of laundry and of course replace the towel in the half bath before returning upstairs. Once we're done cleaning this bottom drawer, we'll wipe down the vanity before putting on gloves and cleaning it, organizing the cabinet on the right. From there, we'll head into the toilet room, also known as a water closet. One of the many things I love about this home is that each full bathroom has two sinks and a separate toilet room, which is great for privacy. We'll begin cleaning this toilet room by wiping down this pitcher above the toilet. Most separate toilet rooms have cabinets above the toilet, but this home had none. So I chose to place artwork above the toilet instead. I'm using a tissue to wipe it down and also using the same tissue to wipe the tissue holder and the poopery bottle. And later I'll use another tissue to clean the recess wall magazine rack. And of course, if you've been with my channel for a while, I only use Clorox wipes to clean the exterior of my toilet and use a toilet brush on the interior. I'm disposing of these gloves and washing my hands before vacuuming these floors and dusting his walk-in closet. I also want to finish deep cleaning his bathroom by mopping as well as mopping floors in his bedroom and walk-in closet.
you can see, we're now in his walk-in closet. Cleaning his closet is going to be quick, as I only need to dust the shelves, mirror, vacuum, and mop. new to my channel I use the Swifter wet pads at least monthly to mop all my floors and every three months use the Bissell steam mop to steam mop all my ceramic tile floors. I like using these Swifter wet pads because they're simple to use, easy to maintain, and doesn't require a lot of storage space. was a lot of work but surprisingly I enjoyed doing it because of the shine and fresh smell the lavender scented wet pads left behind. I found that the original scented wet pads smelled just as nice but like using these lavender scented ones in the boys bathrooms because it's much stronger and the lavender scent lasted a full day as opposed to the original scent which lasted only a few hours. I'm going to hang some clean towels and then restock this cabinet with another roll of toilet paper and fresh towels before checking on the laundry. Are dry except the bath mats so we'll place those back in the dryer while we fold the others. These are the boys towels so we're gonna leave them on the ironing board once folded for the boys to gather later. bath mats are done so that means we can fold them and place them on the ironing board with the towels to pick up later. Also Max is patiently waiting on the couch for me to finish so we're going to clean the lint trap, place our second load of towels in the dryer and prep the washer for tomorrow before joining him.
used to dry out your soap dispenser with a paper towel, please be careful. I've left a piece of paper towel in there once, which was a pain to remove. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for watching Sissy Spaces. And as always, please support my channel by hitting that like and subscribe button and sharing this channel with your family and friends. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.